Netanyahu's in a very difficult place politically, impossible. I mean, I'm glad I'm not Netanyahu. Um, and I'm not sure he's capable of making wise long-term decisions anyway. But if I was just like an Israeli, I'd be like, I don't know if I want like all this help and guidance. Um, so yeah, I actually think it's worse than just having just returned from the Middle East and talking to a lot of pretty open-minded sort of pro-Israeli Arabs who want stability above all. The merchant class always wants stability. So I'm on their side, I guess. And uh, they, they're like, man, this could get super ugly, super fast. American leadership is completely absent. The po It's just all posturing. It's like people like Nikki Haley. You just wonder like, how does an advanced civilization promote someone like Nikki Haley to a position of authority? It's like, what? Shh, shh, Nick, adults are talking, adults are talking. Nikki Haley, go, please go away. Like that, that would be the appropriate response, but everyone's so intimidated to be like, oh, she's a strong woman. She's so transparently weak and sort of ridiculous and doesn't know anything. And it's just like, thinks that jumping up and down and making these absurd blanket statements, repeating bumper stickers is like leadership or something. It's like a, a self-confident advanced society would never allow Nikki Haley to advance. I mean, she's really not impressive. Sorry. I, I just feel like you hold back too much and do. don't tell us what you really think. <laughs> Sorry. But I think you just should speak well, your mind way, more often. These are not, I mean, you can completely disagree with my opinions, but in the case of Nikki Haley, it's not like an opinion formed just from watching television, which I don't watch. It's an opinion formed from knowing Nikki Haley. So, um, Strong words from Tucker. Well, felt too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, the world's in the balance. Yes, I mean, it's not yes, just like- this is important stuff. Yeah, it's not just like, well, you know, what should the capital gains rate be? It's like, do we live or die? I don't know. Let's consult Nikki Haley. <laughs> so if you're asking, should we live or die and consulting Nikki Haley, clearly you don't care about the lives of your children. That's how I feel.